What's up YouTube? Jeff back again and today another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. Today, uh, there's a couple of updates to some exciting good lock modules um, and one that's kind of an update. Um, I think Samsung forgot something. So anyway, you guys will see what I mean in just a second. We're going to get into that before we do a couple of orders of business to get started. The first one is for all of you guys out there who are going to be ordering a phone from Samsung's unpacked event in August, either a Galaxy Z Fold 5, Z Flip 5, or maybe even a Galaxy Watch 6 Pro, um, you should definitely check out my website because I have the mystery boxes live. I mentioned this last week, the mystery boxes for the Galaxy Z Fold 5, Flip 5, and Watch 6 Pro. Um, the mystery boxes, as usual, contain a case, a phone stand, other accessories, randomly assorted gift cards, or one in every 10 box, Amazon gift cards, Google Play credit, 100% free. I cover all the shipping. The only requirement is that you use my affiliate link um, to Samsung at launch to order, uh, and then you verify your order. Um, and the process is described here on the website just so that people understand it, but you don't pay anything. You just use my link to order your phone from Samsung's website, send a screenshot of your order so that we can verify you ordered. That way we don't have a bunch of fraudulent orders. Um, you pick the device here. You can add multiple boxes if you're pre-ordering multiple things. Zero dollars, as I said, so if you add one to your cart, you hit the pre-order button, you're gonna notice that it doesn't cost any money. So check that out. Um, the other thing is, if you guys are interested in reviewing some apps for me, I'm still doing the paid review app program. Sign up on my website, US only right now. Pays between $25 and $100, depending on the app. You guys can check that out below. And then also, people have been asking about this, what this is. This is a thing I got off Amazon that allows you to clean the crevices of your device. It's like a soft TPU material, lets you get like the crevices of your device around the camera lens. And then it's also got a brush right here so you can like dust off your keyboard. Uh, you can also use it to clean around the camera lens. Pretty cool, so if you're interested in that. I'm actually thinking about putting these in the mystery box next time. So those of you who are gonna order a fold, let me know. Would you like to have one of those in the mystery box? I think it'd be a cool thing to have. Anyway, let's talk about these updates. Um, first one, Quick Star. It's a pretty simple update, but um, it is a nice, nice addition. Um, it was released today, the day I'm recording the video anyway, April 28th, uh, 6.4.08.43 is that version number for you guys. 14.56 megabytes, pretty small update. Here's the new stuff. Support hiding icon of modes and device care invisibility of indicator icons and improve app stability. So as usual, when I can, if I have two versions of an app, I'll go ahead and compare them. So let me actually open this up on my Galaxy S22 Ultra because I didn't take the update on here yet. At least, I don't think I did. Let me double check, because sometimes it does the updates for you. So let's just make sure that I'm not lying. If you click over here, yeah, I still haven't updated it here. So you can see here, Theme Park and Keys Cafe um, haven't been updated, and so has Quickstar. So uh, if we go over here to Good Lock, see the updates pending. Let's tap on Quickstar there. And then let me go to Good Lock here, tap on Quickstar. Uh, if you go into the visibility of indicator icons on both sides and scroll the bottom, you'll see that there are these two new options. So over here, data saver, location, power saver, VPN. Here, data saver, location, power saver, modes and routines icon, performance profile icon. Basically what that's gonna do is if you go ahead and turn this off, um, what will allow you to do is it will turn off the indicator icons for modes and routines up in the top right corner. I don't have any on right now, but you see how it's flashing up there when I turn it off. And also any device care things will then be removed as well. I don't usually have either of those up there, but if you're someone who uses those things, if you use a lot of modes, like if a bedtime mode, theater mode, things like that, you can remove those so you don't have so many icons up there in the top right corner in your quick settings. Okay, so that's quick start. Obviously there's some bug fixes, but the bug fixes are never very exciting and not really substantial. Now the other update, let's go back to the Galaxy Store, is for Keys Cafe. And this one is kind of funny, to be honest. Who knows, this might be fixed by the time I release the video. It's a possibility, I guess. Um, but it's still funny to point this out. So the Keys Cafe update was 1.0.06.16, uh, also released April 28th, 76.02 megabyte update, so fairly large. And here's what's new. They added the function for key sound. It sounds different from backspace and text and they fixed two bugs. Fix bugs that not apply the custom keyboard immediately after backup and restore. Fix bugs that did not play immediately the sound when selecting the touch sound. So they did not put 
the new feature where you're supposed to be able to add music while you're typing text, that's what this is supposed to be, some additional custom music in Keys Cafe. So if you actually go into Keys Cafe and you look, let me find it, where is it? It's right there. If you actually go into Keys Cafe and you look at it, here's the style of your own keyboard menu. Over here is where the sounds are supposed to be. These are the same sounds. These are just the touch sounds for the keyboard. In fact, let me turn this on so you can hear. These are the different sounds for the keys. There is no new music or any other type of sound. So let me actually pull it up really quick on here so you guys can see the quick comparison. Keys Cafe, I don't know why I can't, having a hard time finding it. But uh, if we pull it up on the S22 Ultra, I got fingerprints. The oleophobic coating is so bad on the S22 Ultra. I hope it doesn't get that way on the S23 Ultra, by the way. If you look over here in the sound menu, it's the same options. There, there's nothing new. I actually verified this with some other people on Twitter who got the update. I saw a lot of blogs posting about the update. I really gotta wipe this S22 Ultra down. And I was like, this sounds like a cool update, but then I checked it and there's nothing new. There's absolutely nowhere that you can edit or customize this sound. So I guess Samsung just forgot to turn the feature on maybe when they pushed the update. So maybe this will get fixed soon, but it sounds like a cool feature and we'll definitely explore it again once it's actually added. So if you guys check it out, let me know. If you see it, um, then let me know in the comments and maybe I can try to figure out what I missed here. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon. Again, if you wanna review some apps for me and get paid, or if you are pre-ordering a Galaxy Z Fold 5, Z Flip 5, and want a free mystery box with accessories at launch, sign up on my website. Appreciate you guys checking out the video. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.